guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing really, really well today. So I am back today with another really popular video. Um, you guys really like these monthly favourites videos, so I thought I would do another one. I pretty much do them every other month, so it's not every single month that I do them, but I've gathered quite a lot of stuff today um, that I really want to share with you. So yeah, obviously my mission in life is to be a minimalist and to not have too many things in life. Um, but, you know, it's a matter of fact that in life we collect things along the way and I try and be as ethical and conscious as possible when I'm buying things and so I want to share brands and just things that I've collected <laughs> along the way that you might find interesting, might not have known about or, you know, could replace things that break in your life with new things and I just think it's really cool to share awesome brands with you guys and yeah, I, I really like doing these favourites videos, it's kind of like adult show and tell so... <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've got quite a lot to share with you today, so please hold tight and grab yourself a cup of coffee because we've got a lot to go through. <laughs> so I think the first thing that I want to share with you is something awesome and it is a yoga mat bag. So you all know that I'm going to New Zealand in like 20 days, which is insane and probably like when I upload this video it'll be even less, so that's ridiculous. Um, but I want to take my yoga mat with me this time because I didn't last time and I really regretted it. Um, it's nice to be able to do yoga whenever I want to and it's nice to just have you know, this space where you can just stretch and chill out. Um, so yeah, I'm taking my yoga mat bag this time um, because I can take it as my second carry-on bag, um, which is good. So yeah, I got this from a company called Lotus Crafts and it's 100% cotton and um, organic as well, which is really cool. And it's so well made, I absolutely love it. I feel like um, buying a white kind of bag as a backpacker was a terrible choice but I'm a sucker for a good pattern and I really like this pattern so um, hopefully it will come clean in the wash and if not then it will just have that like rustic backpacker look that I go for. Um, but yeah, I got this one and it's the large version so you can get ones where it just fits your yoga mat um, but this one's designed more for like if you want to put yoga accessories like yoga blocks and stuff in. So I got the bigger one because I thought that while I'm travelling um, in airports and stuff I could just put my coat or cardigan into here um, and I don't have to carry it like or tie it around my waist or anything like that. So it just gives me that little bit of extra storage and it just makes it really nice and really easy to you know carry around with me. So that's awesome. <laughs> so there, that's the first thing and I'm so excited about this because I just think it it's, it's going to be a game changer. <laughs> So the next thing is something I was on the fence about for a while and it's t-shirts. So I said in one of my videos I wasn't sure whether I was going to buy t-shirts in New Zealand or whether I was going to get t-shirts while I was still in England. Well I found a really awesome company called Rapanui, I think that's how you pronounce it. I was saying Rapuni for a while and then we realised that it had an ui in the end so I was like oh maybe it's Rapanui. I don't know, these companies have such complicated names. <laughs> so I got a pack of three and um, they come in different like packs so you can get like one, three or six or ten. Um, so I got three because I feel like three is a good number and these are the colours that I generally wear. So I've got these three to take to New Zealand with me that will replace my old t-shirts. Um, so it was three for £25 which I think is pretty reasonable. They are organic, 100% organic cotton and it's a really amazing company. So I got white, I got grey and I got this blue one. So I really like this colour blue. Um, it's pretty nice. So they're all the colours that I wear generally. and. Um, I'm really on board with this company, I think they're awesome, um, if you get a chance to check them out or if you're looking for like a sustainable company, they sell all sorts and Don managed to get himself a nice grey hoodie and some t-shirts as well um, and it's just nice to know that they're organic and cotton and they come from a sustainable source and something else I want to mention is um, this company like they have this thing called circular economy so basically a little bit like Patagonia if you're aware of them they ask people to send back their t-shirts and stuff when they've come to the end of their life so that they can recycle them and change them into new t-shirts which is pretty cool so it's not closed ended like there's, there's these can just keep going forever which is amazing <laughs> and I wish more companies would be like that because you know the world would be a completely different place so moving on <laughs> to the thing that I'm so excited about, I've wanted this coat for so so long, it's a Patagonia Nano Puff jacket and yeah, I am in love with it. It's my favourite colour, um, as you all know green is probably my favourite colour, everything I buy is green, um, but I really like this and it's probably rustling so much, but this is the coat and it's a a synthetic coat so um, I know plastic and stuff isn't the best thing for the world but this is I think it's 75% recycled polyester which is pretty cool um, so yeah the inside of it I think is 45% recycled insulation and the outside is 100% so that's pretty awesome so um, again this company they ask people to send back their old products so that they can 
break them down and put them into their new products, which is pretty much where this coat's come from. So, so yeah, really stoked about this. Um, and I'm really looking forward to wearing it and it, for it to keep me warm because it literally packs down into absolutely nothing. Let me show you. And it's just gonna be nice to have like the option of a warmer, warmer coat that's animal cruelty free. <laughs> So like it just goes to nothing and it's just gonna keep me so warm. <laughs> oh, I'm not prepared for the cold guys. I just realized the other day that I've like literally signed up for a year long winter. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, I told you that there was a lot. Um, so uh, yeah, we're just gonna carry on. We're just gonna plow on through. <laughs> so um, if you've seen my video where I talked about how to make your own cleaning products, you'll have seen these. It's by an amazing brand called Kawishi. I absolutely love Stephanie, the owner of this company. She is awesome. Um, and these are great. They are 45% recycled glass bottles and um, they're made from locally sourced ingredients. The three main ingredients in the glass are locally sourced, which I think is amazing. So yeah, really on board with this company. So if you're looking for like glass bottles um, to store things in, she also has like tiny bottles. So, you know, if you use like facial oils and stuff like that, she's got everything, um, you know, check her out and I'll leave the links below. Um, because she was kind of to send these to me to review and I am in love with them and her company because I just think it's awesome when companies are great like that. So yeah. So yeah, I, I've really enjoyed using these um, and I know that they'll last me for years and years to come, which is super awesome. So the next thing is another awesome thing that I'm so excited about. I shared this in an Instagram post recently. It's these loose leaf tees from Femna. So this is a company that reached out to me again and they were just like, um, would you like to try out our tees because we think that you're like really in line with everything we believe in. They're so like awesome. If you read their About Us page, you know, you'll, <laughs> I know you guys will really like them. Um, it's all about like supporting women through menstruation and through different periods of life using herbs and you near know, remedies and I just think that's so cool. Um, so I got two teas from them. I got the relaxed tea because you all know that I'm a little bit anxious <laughs> and I got the high tide tea because I suffer with bloating and just feeling a little bit like bleh, around my period um, and these have been so good. I really, really love them and they smell amazing. Um, so this relaxed tea is a blend of all my favorite things. I'll show you what it looks like inside. So you can see in there, it's just so vibrant and beautiful. So it has, let me tell you what the main ingredients are, tansy, angelica root, lavender, balm, passion flower, rose and chamomile. And let me tell you, it's like a dream. I absolutely love this blend. So, so nice. And high tide is really, really nice. Um, it tastes quite, kind of, I don't know, really like, like it's doing you really good. Um, I really enjoy it. And it reminds me a little bit of this Chinese tea that my mum used to drink when I was younger. Um, and this one, I'll show you what this one looks like. It's more of like a leafy blend. And the active ingredients in this one are ladies mantle, yarrow, birch, goldenrod, and lovage. Um, but yeah, so, so good. And they just support you along the way and it's so nice. And this one has helped so much with bloating around my period because sometimes you just get all that water retention. It's just not nice. So, you know, I'm really supporting this company. I love that they're loose leaf and that they last for ages. So this is 50 grams and this is a lot of tea in this packet. So yeah, if you are interested in trying these teas out, then I've got a discount code for you guys to get 10% off. And the discount code is KFEMNA. So if you go and click the links below, there's a little link. Um, and if you want to try any of them out, then you'll get 10% off your order, which is pretty awesome. Um, like I said, there's so many and you can just click on, you know, whatever you're struggling with. So it might be like well-being, might be periods, it might be if you want to have more fertility and you can just see all the different teas. There are so many to choose from. I had a really, really hard job trying to choose two. Um, but yeah, there are so many to choose from and I know you guys will love them. <laughs> so on with the tea, um, you know, tea theme. <laughs> It's a little bit of self-promotion again, and you guys have seen these in my um, Insta stories and stuff like that, and it's a like little tea thing. So I shared with you these little tea um, crystals that I'd got. So if you do have a loose leaf tea ball, you can attach them, but I have bought some of these tea strainers too, so you know, if you don't have your own, then you can definitely order one. Um, but yeah, if you would like these, they're gonna be on my Etsy store. I've uploaded so many new things to my Etsy store in the last week, um, because in a week or two weeks time, we're gonna be closing down the Etsy store while we get settled in New Zealand. So if there's anything at all that you guys want, or you know, anything like that, then just head over to our store. But like I said, we'll be just shutting it down. We'll be going into holiday mode. So if you try and, you know, find a necklace from us and we're not there anymore, it's just because we're on holiday. 
and you know once we're all settled and set up we'll be setting up again so for those of you who are on this side of the world it might be worthwhile thinking about if you are thinking about getting a necklace then having a look on there in the next few weeks because you'll save yourself a little bit on shipping um, and those of you on the other side of the planet then we are coming your way so <laughs> yeah I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's bought something from my Etsy store I feel so supported and it's amazing and I just want to all know that you know every single penny that's you know gone into that store um, has gone back into the store and anything that's left over is going to fund our travels which is so awesome and I just think you're all amazing and I really hope that you enjoy the creations that you buy from us because a lot of love goes into them. <laughs> so on with the kind of tea theme again I guess, um, I got a keep cup so I know you don't need to buy certain brands to be like zero waste or anything like that um, but I do like a good hot chocolate and I do like to drink tea so I thought that while I'm travelling um, and stuff like that and obviously like when we get settled in New Zealand I might be going to more coffee shops and stuff so um, just to find Wi-Fi <laughs> um, I thought I would invest in one of these because it's good um, a versatile container you know I can just take I can take the lid off and I can put I don't know overnight oats or just some snacks and stuff like that in there pop the lid on throw it in my bag and I don't have to worry about it anymore and it just means that I can get a drink on the go um, I plan on taking some tea with me, uh, you know, in the airport and just being able to put it into my tea bowl and have zero waste tea. I can just get some water in here. So I'm really excited that I've got this and I think it's going to add a lot of value to my life and be used quite a lot. <laughs> so the next thing, I feel like we're getting more and more random now. We had a theme to start with and now we're just going completely off tangent. Um, so the next thing is something that I was inspired by by my lovely friend Lucy. Her name is Zero Hero Movement on Instagram if any of you you know, if any of you are on Instagram, I highly recommend checking her out. She's been in Australia and it's amazing. She's been looking after kangaroos and now she's gone to do some research on sharks and her life just looks awesome at the minute. So yeah, <laughs> if you love zero waste and stuff like that, I think you guys will really like her. Lucy is so awesome. Anyway, she posted in Instagram saying about um, how she got this compos decomposition book. Um, so this is the book that I got. This is a book that she had and I was like, wow, that's awesome. I really want this because my old notepad, I filled every single space possible and I needed a new notepad to take with me um, away because I like to write notes for videos and just, you know, all sorts. I have my bullet journal, but just to brainstorm ideas and, you know, write notes and stuff, it's nice to have a second brain. <laughs> Um, so these are 100% post-consumer waste recycled pages, so that's pretty cool. And because of the way it's made, it's 100% compostable, so once I finish with this, it won't do any damage to the planet. And I just think it's really beautiful, so let me show you up close. So that's the front, and then this is the back, and then whoop, inside it's got this like really nice detail, and then it's got lined pages, which is cool because it reminds me of like being at school and having lines again, because my old notepad doesn't have any lines, and it's really strange because then I just kind of waste space I guess so yeah really happy with that and if you guys you know are in school or studying then I highly recommend checking these out they're on Amazon um, and they do have plain ones as well if you're not into like woodland theme <laughs> um, but yeah really really happy with this I'm really excited to start using it once um, you know once I filled every single space in my other one <laughs> So the next thing is moving on to kind of body care, skincare, I guess. Um, I got some new essential oils by a different company to normal. So you guys know that I always use Young Living. Well, they're quite expensive, to be honest. And so I was looking at a cheaper company. Whoop, let me see if I can show you these. These are called Eden's Garden. And I heard a lot about these when I was looking into what essential oils to get. And basically I came to the conclusion that these are as good quality as Young Living. It's just that they're not a multi-level marketing company, which is a whole new ball game. If you want to like delve deep into the, you know, the ethics and stuff of multi-level marketing, then I will leave you to do that by yourselves. Um, but these are really good and the quality is amazing. I've, you know, compared them next to the Young Living ones and I'm pretty happy with, you know, the quality. I have loved this great fruit one I've been using it so so much recently and it just smells amazing so yeah I got three of my favorites to try I got grapefruit I got frankincense and I got lavender and this bottle of lavender was like a fraction of the price of the young living and I got twice as much so <laughs> yeah you know for any of you essential oil lovers out there if you're on a bit of a budget these might be a really good second option so I just wanted to mention them because they're what I'm going to be transitioning over to um you know in the future because they are a much a much more affordable company for me at least. <laughs> so the next thing is something that you all I think would have imagined would be in this video and it's my soap nut shampoo bar. So 
I've mentioned this so much this month, so it's got to be in my monthly favourites video. Um, I did a video about this if you've not seen it already, just showing you how to use it and, you know, my review about it. But basically, in a nutshell, I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, this is part of my monthly favourites because it's been awesome and it does such a good job at washing my hair. So yeah, I highly recommend this. And I think it's out of stock um, because so many of you went and bought it after I mentioned it in my video. But, you know, just keep keep um, keep tabs on it and, you know, it might come back in stock eventually. I hope so because I really want to try the coconut one, but it's gone out of stock. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's awesome. So we're very, very nearly at the end now, guys. I want to share with you a book. So last month I didn't manage to share a book, but this month I've had a little bit more time to be able to read. Um, and so I've been absolutely loving this book. And it's such a random book, I feel like. But it's A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, what's the author? Sarah J. Mass. And I think this was really popular, like, last year. And I've only just got into it. And I am not a fiction reader. Like, I love to read factual books. And I love to read self-help books. But I never read anything that's make-believe. And so it's been really nice to just, you know, get lost in a different world. And it's, like, kind of about... Um, it's set in, like, a fairy tale land. And it's all about magic and stuff. And it sounds really childish but it's such a good book it reminds me a little bit of like lord of the rings or the hunger games um and it's just so good and it's kind of got a little bit of romance mixed in it's a very gripping read i'm like 60 percent of the way through and i do not want it to end but it's part of a series so i'm really excited so let me know if you've read this and what you thought of it but don't don't give me any spoilers <laughs> um so i just thought i'd mention that because i've been really enjoying it and it's something different to what i would normally read so i feel like it's good sometimes you just read something completely different to what you would normally do <laughs> So the next thing is a podcast. I always like to mention a podcast. I can't believe how long this video is. I'm so sorry that I'm such a chatterbox. Um, it's another Daniel Vitale's podcast. Surprise, surprise. Um, this is called Wise Interaction with the Sun. Once again by Nadine Artemis because I'm absolutely in love with this woman. This is such a good listen. Like, you know, how have you listened to podcast? It's amazing. I've listened to it twice now and I'm just in love with it. It's so good and it talks about, you know, sun cream, the way we eat, our interaction with the sun and how like just being in the sun doesn't cause skin cancer and there's so many different things that go into it. So, you know, if you're interested in skincare and stuff like that and, you know, looking after your skin and trying to break the taboo around being in the sun without sun cream on, then I would highly recommend listening to this because it's something I'm really interested in and I learned so much from this podcast um, and it kind of reaffirmed a lot of things I already knew, but yeah, highly recommend it if you are getting into stuff like that. Um, it was awesome. <laughs> so the last thing before I leave you all to get on with your day is I like to give someone a shout out. So someone that I've been loving this month is my good friend, Plant Based Kate. So I love this girl. I think she's awesome. She's one of my favourite YouTubers. She has been since before I even started YouTube. She's such an inspiration. Um, she does videos about travel. She's just been travelling around the world. She was in India and now she's in the Outback Australia. She's helping with Aboriginal people and she's just an inspiration. She's awesome. So yeah, she talks about veganism, minimalism, travel, all those good things. I think you guys will really, really like her. So if you do head over to her, then say hello for me um, because she's super super cool and she has Instagram too so yeah please check her out I think you guys will get on with her really well and I hope that at some point our paths can cross because she's an awesome person and I feel like we get along so well we got so much in common she recently did a video talking about um being a introvert as well which you know so many things she said were so in line with everything I believe so I feel like you guys you know you'll like her, you'll like her a lot. So yes, that's it. I am going to stop blubbering because these videos just keep getting longer and longer and longer. So if you are still here, then you are awesome. Thank you so much for listening to me chat on. I had a lot to share because like I said, I don't always do these videos every month. I just like to collect stuff and just share it with you all because, um, yeah, I feel like if I did it once a month, I wouldn't have enough to share. But this month I've, you know, I've bought quite a bit and I've kind of had a lot of stuff come into my life because of going traveling um but yeah I'm so excited to go to New Zealand I've just been packing my bag and I've got oh it's just it's gonna be awesome so if there's any videos you want me to do before I do leave the country then just let me know below because I'd be more than happy to film them and that's it <laughs> I don't feel like I've breathed for the last like five minutes but I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and let you get on with your day so thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed this please give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe if you're new and if you want to get notifications of when I do upload a video then press the little bell button below and it will notify you when I upload so you don't miss any of my uploads and that's it from me so thank you so much for watching guys have an awesome day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>